Hey guys, what is going on? It is Roger Death here again, and we're going to keep playing some of this uh, randomizer. I don't know how much longer it's going to be, just because the nature of randomizers. This could be it. It may be a short recording. We will see. Uh, we're going to continue. Same spot. I haven't played uh, this save at all. I do have others that I've been trying. This, this just sounds so cool. Um, I'm struggling to remember how... Uh, that's right. On this save, I don't have the, the double jump. But I have the fuck yeah, I jump everything. Jump. <laughs> uh, uh, do I remember this boss? Oh, good lord, this boss. I remember him barely. I might be in way over my head here. Uh, nope, that is not an ability I want to use. I can't remember what abilities I have. Uh, yeah. This, I think, is going to be a death. Probably. This guy's got way, way more health than I can reasonably expect to beat at this point in the game. We'll try it. Um, but if I fail, I'm not going to be surprised. I want to make that very clear. His attack pattern is fairly simplistic. Maybe it would be in here. Okay. Uh, way less badass than I made him out to be. Uh, don't even get a soul. I oh, that's right, because I think he returns as a normal enemy. Uh, I think this may actually be the last section of the game, if I recall. We we've skipped a lot. It is. All of termination. Well, it's the last one that I have to go through in this. Since I only have to beat Jeep. Ow. I'm not a fan of great swords in this one. In other, like Metroidvanias, I'm fine with them. Uh, but I think for this one, the attack pattern just isn't. I'm fine. Well, let me reflect her through. Oh, I'm gonna hit the right button. Oh, that's a bonus boss right there, so yeah, this is the last area of the game. One of these is a save, one's a teleport. Usually. I'm not having double jump is so weird. Okay, so there's there's two save points. We'll save again, why not? Important. Uh, there's also a secret up here, actually. Um, we're not gonna go do it. But the 8 bit world is uh, normally up here. I think we're going to be better off switching to Zangetsuto. And potentially just going with Drain. Oh, 
I'm not doing as much damage a hit. I'm hitting more reliably though, I think. And it's also not taking like my entire swing. Yeah, it, it took way less time to kill that one. All right. Dimension shift. Uh, I believe that's a shitty weapon. I guess the first one to check out is all the way at the end. <laughs> they teach you some decent moves. I know. I keep doing that. Dimension shift. Flying edge. I don't. Is that the one you can throw? Yeah. Oh, that's how you do it. You can break the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a leather chest card. Actually, let me take another look at what we've got going on here. Um, I think if we're going to go into the final battle, we're going to unequip that. Changer. <laughs> no, that's the first time I've actually, I've actually ever used the voice changer. So, uh, Jeebel. This could be it. This is so much easier with like whatever you want to call that no. <laughs> Just fucking jump over him. Ow. Nope, turn. This is why I've been using the the D-pad. Part of that attack. Um, I wonder, can I even cut them? No, it actually won't let me. So normally, in order to finish uh, the game and get the true ending, you're supposed to get the Zangetsu though by traveling through sacred area. Secret ish. It's hidden. Um. To get the Zangetsu, though, by beating Zangetsu again. Because you see him in the normal playthrough. That's it. Told you this one could be short. Ta da! So it shows I cleared, so I, but I can resume it. So so let's do that. We can we can get a little bit more play. Uh, but I've beaten it, and the time shows uh, as my clear time. So I'm fine with just kind of screwing around at this point. Um, but yeah, so you see, you usually see a lot more of Zangetsu. Uh, Zangetsu. Uh, you'll hear about him from uh, an NPC we haven't even seen at all in this city. Uh, because it has a kind of sort of post game. Oh, good, more hairstyles. You know, I totally need that. It has a kind of post game setup. Or late game setup. Yeah, normally that's such an easy, easy monster, and I just flipped it. I mean, dropping right on top of it doesn't hurt, or doesn't help me. So we're just gonna explore, we're gonna pad this out a little bit. It's 
no fun if this is only going to last eight minutes. So we may get some extra power here. Uh, that we could use to go fight. Uh, what's his face again? Because I can't recall if there's a, uh, a secret there. No. Feels like there should be. But there isn't any, any of these ways. There is there. I had a feeling there should have been. Oh, I'll go back to train because I'm not using daggers. Damascus equipment. Probably going to be worthless. I don't have an easy way of checking it because both of my freaking save. Both my things here are safe. Or save. Which means I don't have a teleport. I think the best one I have is actually I'm back with uh, OD. Which is interesting because I still have the luck book. I didn't grab a, a different one. Is this the way to the other areas that I'm talking about? Yeah, you can get to the point, I believe. <laughs> there are just, there's several areas that we barely explored uh, here Dimension shift. that are somewhat important. Oh, Colvorn, I got a gun. Uh, meanwhile, I've had to explore it this way uh, somewhat frequently in other uh, randomizer attempts just because of the way that the ca I've gotten uh, things to shake out. Uh, yep, let's see if this is a save. It is not, it's a teleport room. Okay. Teleport, we're going to heal, and then we're going to fight uh, an enemy inspired by Countess Bathory. Yeah, and that's probably what I'll end on, because that's, I think, a harder fight than, uh, than Jeeble. Stay. What are we transmuting this time? I can make a Beetlejuice. Huh. Interesting. Uh, which is, which is indeed better than the Culvern. But that's not saying a whole lot. Looking to see. There's a blue rose in here, but I, there's almost no way I'm getting the requirements for that with it needing a DS array. I already have one of those, I think. Apparently not. Shovel. <laughs> Which requires the EX shovel armor. Deathbringer. So I'm not seeing anything in here that really. Make me switch. We already made one of those. Is it in here twice? Yeah. You craft it two different ways. Yeah, this game, the, the randomizer can be interesting in what it does. Could try and go for that. Two Hell's Kneels and two Encrypted Orchards. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. But that thing is, is one of the best armors in the game. You ever in yeah. Hell. Yep, I know. Bale is is the true final boss. Uh, I don't remember what you have, yeah. I actually sell that. Hmm. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sell a bunch of crafting stuff because I've proven that it's just not needed. Is this what pleasure doing business? Is this what oh, thank you? We're gonna see if we can't get some money. Oh come on. Is this pleasure doing business? Some stuff here for a decent amount of money. Is this what pleasure doing business? Is it there you are? Is it pleasure doing is it pleasure doing is it there you are? Is it pleasure is it there you are? Is it there you are? Is it pleasure doing business? Is it pleasure doing business? Is it all? Thank you. Is it all? Thank you. All right. Oh, what would you like to buy? Let's get that imperial arm. I should have equipped it. So that's a great sword that just increases my defenses. Just a regular sword with ice. 
could be better. It, it attacks quicker. That's a club, and I don't remember if clubs are what the attack speed for clubs are. Um, I wish on here it would told me um, which ones I've eaten. Is this Thank you. Uh, we're gonna stock up on food. So like I said, I think Lady Bathory is a uh, harder fight. Oh, we'll get some EX. Uh, those. Okay. Oh right, we can sell shards too. Regadofine, yeah. Alright. Let's actually equip this like I was a... When did we get the Shinigo Shinobi Garb? Well, why did I make... So this... So this is better defense, but you lose that on a lot of everything else. I mean, like, look at those stats. That's a lot of resistances and a lot of fun stats. We're gonna go with the Shinobi Garb. I just wasted so much money. Not like it matters, right? I mean, we beat the game. Oh, I didn't save. Well, just do that just so we can say we did. Uh, I've got the hour 2557 completion, so uh, what I will do is for the next series, we will just do a new uh, a new one. We'll do a little bit of different settings. Um, it's going to be, it'll be longer probably. Almost certainly, actually. Uh, if I use the settings I think I'm going to. But in the end, it kind of ends up being a better Kinds of end up being kind of ends up being better uh, because there's not as much. Oh god, I don't know where to find this soul. These these souls. Um, it'll just scatter scatter them between uh, places that they can spawn normally. All right, we're gonna let the cutscene play out even because this one does still. I need more blood. Blood steel. <laughs> Ow. Scarlet Psycho. Inspired off of Countess Bathory. The uh I don't remember what country she was. A countess of but she was uh she killed tons of young women uh, to bathe in their blood. There's a reason I said I think she's harder than Jeeble. a lot more mobile and just kind of dodge into your shit. So I just take crap tons of damage. I think here we're gonna switch shards again. We're gonna go back to the great sword. We're gonna do the blood grinder. Scarlet thrust. As like most bosses, do, so she's resisting the curse. Unsurprising. Scarlet no, she can't normally do that. That's interesting. Ow. She's a very tricky boss, and that's kind of why I, I 
Look at how much harder this fight is than Jeebel's fight. It's silly. So, I think we're gonna making. Oh, that also stuff also didn't get changed. That that's part of it. Uh, let's try. <sighs> I gotta get that and. Yeah, this looks good enough. Um, shift. Uh, yeah. We could do we get Dauphine. Try this again. Not an easy fight. God, I forgot that without even having a double jump, you can't do kick jumps. Which is annoying. We'll be here, and then that'll be the end of this episode. This uh, a rand randomizer episode attempt thing. Um, what I might just do in the future is just record all of it at once. And just not split it up. We're gonna skip her, uh... Scarlet Psycho. I like that your dress kind of acts as a health bar for If you, if, uh, you notice. Know As she loses more and more health, it, it just gets smaller. How? so hard because of the mobility. USB port's got it short. Such an annoying boss. What did I just take damage from? Ah. 
Finally. She's a very annoying boss, and normally... I bump the USB cable again. Um, normally you get the... I just want to see what this does. Oh, sweet. Um, normally you get the, the blood suck ability, which you actually do need uh, to progress story-wise. Story normally. You know, and that may be the other thing. Is I may just, we may decide that what we need to do is we need to do just a regular playthrough uh, to kind of get my feeling back on this game. Kind of remember how to play it properly for you. Remember where things are, where to go, yada yada. Oh, jeez. I just one-shot him. We'll find a save point. I think there, there's probably one around here somewhere. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, hmm. I don't have an easy way of getting through there anymore, so we'll, we'll try a different route. Remember the dragon? Uh, come on. I just want to find the save point. Okay, game. The three inputs. Do that room already. Uh, hello? No, thank you. Uh, it's a bit of ways. We have the time to make it. Come on, game. See, even though it looks really far away, we just do that. That'll do it. Took us an hour and 25 minutes to beat this seed. Um, I encourage you to try on your own. You're probably going to beat me because you've got some foreknowledge of what happens. But give it a shot. I had fun. We'll try it. We'll, we'll not try something new. We will do... So, so once again, there's this, there's this glitch data here that I have to figure out a way to get rid of. Um... We will could try a Zangetsu playthrough, or just do an actual one through with uh, Miriam. Uh, Miriam, in, in, in like a normal story playthrough, which I think is probably what I'm leaning towards. Either way, guys, that's going to be it for this series. Uh, the first attempt went fairly quick. It wasn't the hardest thing in the world. The hardest thing we had um, was an optional boss for us, basically. <laughs> so, I will see you guys next time. Excuse me, see you guys next time.